Hey Cupcakes, welcome back to my channel. I'm a little bit sick, so I'm just going to be doing a voiceover for this whole video. So I'm sorry about that, but if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. First, I'm going into this mustard yellow color from my Morphe and Jaclyn palette with this fluffy blending brush from the Wish app and going right into my crease up to my brow bone. Next, I'm going into my 35B Morphe Brushes palette and dipping into this orange shade with this flat blending brush and going right into my crease as well. Switching back to that first brush, I'm dipping into that yellow again and blending those two colors out. Then I'm going into this navy blue shade with this small tapered brush and I'm just focusing that on my outer V and my inner corner. To help blend that out, I'm using that flat blending brush we used for the orange shade. So basically I'm just switching back between those two brushes. I'm using the smaller brush to add the blue, then I'm using the flat brush to blend it out. Then I'm taking some black with that same small tapered brush and adding it to those same areas. To blend that out, I'm using this fluffy blending brush. As you can see, I'm staying in the same spot and just moving in tiny circles because I don't want to move that black around, I just want to blend out the edges. Then I'm adding some more black and blending it out until I get the intensity that I want. Next, I'm going into this shimmery yellow shade from the Magic Palette by Juvia's Place and I'm going in with my finger and applying that to the center of my lids. Then with no additional product on my small tapered brush, I'm blending that navy blue and black towards the yellow so it has more of that gradient effect. I'm going back and adding some more of that orange shade with my flat blending brush just to add a little bit more pigment since some of it kind of faded away and to blend out some of those edges. I'm doing the same thing with that mustard yellow shade and that same fluffy blending brush and going in my crease up to my brow bone as well as applying some to my lower lash line. For that fun pop of color, I'm dipping into this bright hot pink with that little tapered brush and applying that to my lower lash line. To make that edge sharp and clean, I'm using my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in the number NC30 and while I was editing, I caught this. What the heck just happened there? I don't know. The like light reflected against or some like of the powder flew away from my face. I don't know, but that was some weird shit. Anyway, I'm dipping back into some more black with that small tapered brush and going on the very outer third of my lower lash line. To highlight my inner corner, I'm using my new Purr Bronze and Brighten palette that I got from BoxyCharm, so thank you BoxyCharm. I'm going in with this little flat brush, spraying that with some setting spray, and then highlighting the fuck out of my inner corners. To coat my lashes, I'm using my Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. To coat those bottom lashes, I'm using my Revlon Ultimate All-in-One Mascara because the little bristles help get my little tiny lashes. Taking a little detailed brush, I'm dipping into some black eyeshadow and applying that to my waterline. Next, I'm using my ColourPop Cosmetics Ultra Matte Lipstick in the color Privacy. For the final step, I'm using these lashes by Bold Face Makeup and this is in the style Bold is Beautiful. And here is the final look. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and let me know any other tutorials you want me to do in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Stay caked, stay fierce, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!